Welcome to Home Tiny Lab. My name is Christoph. In this tutorial, we will install XCPNG uh, on a physical server. Uh, let's start. Power on the server. The USB stick with the installation software is uh, already installed on the physical server. Uh, to make this install media, I've made already uh, a tutorial. Uh, please uh, go to that tutorial for uh, that manipulation. The installation is already started. You have to do nothing, touch nothing. Only wait. If you want, up is uh, starting up. We are waiting for the logo of XAPNG or the installation screen. So I've chosen to install XAPNG because it's a, it's a software that's really easy to install to begin with. Small footprint. Um, I am installing this not on a, on a server. It's on a, consumer hardware uh, it's a Haswell processor an i3 of the lower end even here you have to select your keyboard I'm in Belgium Latin one uh, okay uh, welcome screen to XCPNG setup above you see the version welcome to XCPNG version 8.1.0 um, to load the driver, press F9, just a little bit of advanced storage clause, press F10. We are doing a simple install. Okay. Uh, the end user license agreement. Uh, XCPNG is based on open source. Um, it's based on Xen server. Okay, we will accept. It's not an upgrade. We'll do a clean installation. Why is he asking this? Because I have already installed XCPNG on it, but I'm redoing it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to OK. If you are multiple artists on the system, I have one SSD, this is the crucial, and I have one 2 terabyte uh, mechanical artist. I'm choosing the SSD. Faster boot. Okay. Um, there is asking which uh, disk would you like to use virtual machine storage? You can select multiple ones. That's what I'm doing. So I will have the SSD where XCPNG is installed on, and I can also use it to put uh, VMs on. And I can also install VMs on the mechanical uh, hard disk. Um, LVM. So we're not touching this, we're going to OK. Um, it's local media because it's from USB. So, okay. We're skipping a verification. If you are doing this with a, a USB stick that you are using for the first time, I would not skip verification. If you are using your XCPNG hosts uh, in a production environment, I would not skip verification. This verification is the, we will skip this for now. I'm going to OK. And now you have to give your very secret password. Don't forget it. Makes Eve it makes life easier if you don't forget it. Oh, this is done. Okay. 
Oh, they did not match. Let's redo it. Ah, good time. Okay, if you don't know here to put in what you're using for network, leave it on automatic configuration. If you know what address you will give to the host, you uh, choose static. Uh, the IP address that I will use is Mm, this one subnet is a class C so this is the mask gateway mostly is the same as your network but with a one in most cases but I repeat if you don't know what to fill in there choose automatic configuration DHCP Mm, okay, no VLAN. Okay. Um, pop, pop, pop. We are giving a host name. XPNG. Host. Indiana server. Um, you could choose simply. Google's one. Oops. Um, you could also enter a local DHCP. Mostly the same as a gateway. And okay. Okay, geographical Europe. That's Brussels for Belgium. How should the local time be determined? I would use, I would always try to use NTP. So time synchronization is always uh, done. Mm. Okay. You will ask for an NTP server. So you could use the generic one. Uh, like um, here set pool.ntp.org because I'm in Belgium I can use I will narrow it down to Belgium pool.ntp.org and for a second one you could uh, put pool.ntp.org uh, what you all always uh, could do instead is uh, creating your own NTP server and use that one. But like you're starting up a home lab, I suppose you don't have all that in place. Okay. We have collected all the information. Install XCPNG. Up installation process is started. Preparing for installation. Mm -hmm. 61%. Uh, after this tutorial, uh, I will make other ones. Um, uh, one will be to create uh, virtual machines. How to, um, what you need to start creating virtual machines. There are some things to configure. Uh, how to um, set up your clients because you will have the need to for a client uh, software on your Windows or you can create a virtual machine with a client software or you can access um, all the resources uh, like uh, other, other um, uh, Nix installed in the system, um, perhaps graphical uh, 
card that we want to access from a virtual machine that will be in, in the following tutorials. So if you don't want miss all of that, uh, please subscribe. Uh, it's appreciated. 64% uh, um, This system that I'm using mm, using now has only 4 GB of RAM What's not enough to do virtualization in most cases So we will in the future upgrade this, there will be also a video on this So how to upgrade your memory uh, it's not a tricky one. It's opening the, the, the what you are using as server and and changing the memory in most cases or adding some memory. Uh, no supplemental packs to install. Completing installation. It's working. So in the future. If you have a lab like this, to deploy machines will normally be faster. All depends on the architecture that you are using, hardware architect architecture, uh, how you are accessing your VMs over the network or local on the system. All those things will, will improve or complicate the things you are deploying. Forty-four percent. The little server is uh, working very hard for the moment. I hear the the fans, uh, the fans uh, ramping up in RPM. Okay, I will already open a browser on my main screen because we will need it to show off some of the installation. What we also can do is uh, showing our forty-four percent. Uh, we can see if we are using DHCP or we can see uh, without going on to the reward router how to find it I use utility um, pup, 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 I'm trying to find it. ah here it is no, 92% okay I'm going to oh. I will show it afterwards. Um, XP engine installation is complete. Please remove any local meter from drive and press enter to reboot. So I'm going to remove the USB stick. Ah, that's done. Uh, okay, it's rebooting. Now we will look at the rebooting process. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting up. Ah, XCPNG boot up screen. It's on an SSD, so there are no much other things to start up. There are no VMs on it, so it will go relatively fast. loading the screen okay so if you see this screen when you have installed xcpng this means that uh, it was successful. Uh, here you can see the 
IP address that we gave. If you are using DHCP, you will see the IP address there of your system. Um, the status display. Okay, it's not. Some things are self-explaining, others are not really. But we are going to leave this for the moment. That's for another video. But you have the installation done. It's uh, one first big step. Now I'm going to my main screen. Okay. You can download the software. I put also the link in the comment in uh, the description section of the channel. There's a software advanced IP scanner. And with that you can scan in your network if you don't have uh, a monitor all the time because with DHCP your address can change if you're not configuring it in your in your router to deploy always the same address. So you can scan. Okay, he found my uh, he has found my NAS. There is a Plex on my NAS, it's on the NAS that it's running. Docker is, always, is also running on my NAS. And here you see the xcpos.lan. Uh, normally you would not see xcpos.lan. This is because I'm using uh, my own uh, DNS server where I, have en where I have entered the record for this IP address. So. With this you can find also your DCP IP, your IP address. Okay. Let's close this. Um, one important thing to start once you have installed XCPNG is to go with your browser to changing keyboards. Um, it was 30 okay so from this page you can uh, download the software client xcpng center for windows if you're using it from a windows client if not you could use xen orchestra but it will be a limited version uh, if you are not um, it will be limited to 30 days if you're using this, but I will um, make a tutorial on how to install Xen Orchestra from source so that you have all functionality uh, without a problem. Not going away here. So, this was the quick installation of XCPNG. If you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe. Or if you didn't like it, thumb down or thumb up. Thank you for watching. See you next time.